can see Wiesberger just an inch off the ferry. A little bit of mud on the right-hand side here. Just a little wedge in hand. Got to control this, get some height. Yeah, it's got to be careful. 121 Wiesberger. Well, that's perfect. Pitched on top and sat down. So, great chance for a birdie three for the Austrian. Told a few players already that putt, hasn't it? Swings more than they think. 35 years old now, Wiesberger. Just a fraction down the hill. Ah, just half a club short for Wiesberger. Difficult putt off the left hand side for Perm Wiesberger, putting from off the green. Yeah, and the green keepers out there, they want the greens pretty firm, keep those pitch marks well away from their own greens. You see left below right, keeps the shoulders very level. I do like that, I think that's the way to go for me, definitely. Just a hybrid for Wiesberger, trying to just draw it from right to left, get it up the hill. There's not an awful lot down that left hand side, but the rough is certainly growing up after all the the wet weather the last week or so out there. So fairways are premium. Well, he's got his instructions from the caddy. As he listened. Oh, it's a, just spinning away. Spin not his friend on this occasion, but still, if it hangs on there, that's a good shot. He was asking for it to go, wasn't he? But there's not too much wrong with the distance there. Yes, beauty. That was never anywhere else, was it? That was absolutely bang centre. Well, stepping on the fifth, probably the easiest hole on the golf course, you would think. If you don't make birdie or eagle on here, you're going to give it back to the field. All you've got to do is dodge the water on the right-hand side, place it nicely down the left. Yeah, mentally, quite a big difference between going from a four to a five. And I played it, you just felt like you were trying to keep it down, but now with being a par five, you probably almost open your shoulders and <laughs> see yourself making an eagle three. It's a big, high draw of Eastburgers. It's not an easy shot for him. Not a natural cutter of the ball. And he's just duffed that there, really trying to hit that fade. Well, this is no pushover. Up two tiers we go for Brent Wiesberg. A very slow putt, this. That's fabulous, isn't it? Fabulous judgment from down there. Even allowing just a little bit for the wind to swing it at the end. Yeah, good, great two putt. Really good birdie from where he was down on the bottom of the green. We'll tee up nice and high, pin way down low. Over the lake we go, and it's not a breath of wind on the tee and down by the green, but in between it is blowing. 177 yards to go. Seen already today. Tough to pick the club. Oh, that's yeah. pretty good there. A couple of slopes you can't see on the television, but you can see the ball just working its way back to the hole. No more than seven feet to go. Yes, another one right in the middle for Wiesberger. And quite a significant move now within two shots of the leaders. Yeah, this surprises me. It's the easiest hole on the golf course today. But I can tell you why. It's straight down the breeze and it's blowing at a serious rate of knots. It's all downhill, 556 yards, and they're all out with driver. Busting a gut to get as far down as they can. Well, it looked a little bit straighter on the top tracer line, but that's down the left side, so I'll need a good lie. This one a bit jumpy, like I said, from Brent Wiesberger. 232 yards to go. Now, normally the twizzle of the club's a good sign. Is it on this occasion? It certainly is. Oh, keep going, keep tracking. Well, we're going to give you that one, Bert. That's magnificent. Eagle putt given. Eagle putt from about a foot and a half. Yeah, I'm going to say, if it was another three feet longer, it wouldn't have been quite so nice. But yeah, absolutely, what an eagle and well deserved. Okay. 
It's, it's gone for the soft one, and that is going left. That's exactly what I said. Yeah, there's some long grass down there. That might hang I'm on, sure John. We shall wait and find out. It should release coming out of rough that thick. All about the contact. Yeah, not bad. 1,500 in total. Allowed in the grounds, and most of them are going to be following Wiesberger. But unfortunately, it's a drop shot. I have no idea if that's good or not. That says it all, Anthony, doesn't it? He's it no does, idea. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> just just up into switch. the blue sky and yeah. just take your chance, Mark. It's not going to move much. I think he got a gust of wind there. You see him adjusting his cap, and I think the wind suddenly buffeted him. You can see how strong it's blowing there. Yeah, he was definitely on his toes there, Rui. That burnt Wiesberger from pin I left. This one a fast putt off the left hand side. Yeah, it's very tidy indeed. From Wiesberger. Pins on 11, just four over the bunker. Straight away shouting at it. Knows he got a flyer. The player always knows immediately from the contact he on steamy as well just a bit heavy handed five under through the first eight holes to overpass since then for Wiesberger, second drop shot of the day for the Austrian. Yeah, if you can go on that left line, like Jay was saying earlier, it's the longer route. It's the only way you're really going to be able to get it on the green. Yeah. All coming up just shy and right, those first two. Every bit is good. Anything you can do, I can do better. Lovely. Yeah, that was a master class. This is an iron for Wiesberger. Yeah, that's he hit it in the penalty area here when he went on to win. his right hand side and it's uphill for the first 10 feet and it's going to level itself out and it's all a little bit downhill near the hole. Lovely. What a way to finish for Wiesberger. It is a birdie birdie finish to the round and he once again climbs back alongside the leaders at five under par. The man who is the sort of unofficial defending champion here yeah, I, I like it around here. So it was a good day again, a very good start, a very steady start, but got a lot of scoring in, which was kind of lacking the last, you know, uh, five, uh, six competitive rounds, especially last week. So it was nice to get a couple of early birdies and early um, putts dropped, um, bonus on the on the eighth, obviously. And then, you know, it just, you turn into a bit of tricky part of the golf course. Uh, nine's obviously playing very tough and, uh, Dropped a couple of, of shots there, but uh, stayed with it and you know got rewarded uh, on the last two greens with, with some more birdies. So uh, all in all, it was a quite solid day, um, and you know very happy with the start. You had to contend with wind here and there, but obviously it must have felt at times like a different course. I mean, the sun's come out; it seems to have dried up quite a bit anyway. Yeah, you know, it was windy out there. Uh, it has uh, switched about 90 degrees to like north northeast, which made the golf course play a little bit different compared to yesterday in the program where it was very windy as well. But um, yeah, you know, just you, you adapt and uh, pick your targets. Um, obviously, 
plays a little bit different compared to last year and, and as I said yesterday. But um, you know we had uh, we had a pretty good game plan and uh, for the most part I was able to execute it. Uh, and um, yeah, so um, had a couple of putts drop as well and then uh, you know adds up to a good good first day. Time for the lead at the moment. Obviously, just as round one, there's lots of golf left. At this point, do you set yourself any targets or scores to for 48 or, or, or after three rounds? Uh, no, not at all. Um, you know, we have a lot of golf left, as you said. Uh, golf course can play really tricky. You know, if you're just slightly off on uh, on the wind and then your execution and your ball striking, you uh, can get into trouble. So it's it's not like it's a guaranteed under under par round each day out here. Um, but um, you know, still just got to stay sharp uh, and uh, want to, wanna, you know, really see uh, good lines and 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 commit to the to the shots ahead out there. And um, when I do that, I'll uh, I feel like I have uh, a golf course in front of me that I enjoy playing and I can score well on. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.